Former MPP Randy Hillier's daughter is under house arrest after defying a court order. It all started when Chelsea Hillier launched a tirade of tweets maligning a university instructor. Tonight, we speak one on one with Esther Post, who fought online slander and won, but at a cost. It's destroyed me. <laughs> um, it's been horrible. And I can't imagine anyone who would not come out of this mentally and emotionally really scarred. Esther Post and Chelsea Hillier were once close friends. Hillier was even a bridesmaid at Post's wedding. But the friendship turned toxic during COVID. When Post criticized former MPP Randy Hillier's controversial anti-COVID restriction stance, his daughter went on a Twitter attack, accusing Post of being a white nationalist. But for Post, this was the most damaging accusation. I drugged sexually assaulted students. I cannot imagine a worse accusation um, than being accused of what she accused me of. Post filed a civil suit. Hillier did not file a statement of defense. In July, a justice ruled Hillier's tweet campaign was, quote, motivated by malice and that she weaponized her Twitter accounts for vengeful and vindictive behavior. Hillier was ordered to pay close to $100,000 in damages and to remove and retract her tweets. She declared bankruptcy instead and repeated some of the allegations. Hillier did eventually comply, but due to the delay was found in contempt of court and this week was ordered to serve 75 days of house arrest, along with 120 hours of community service and nine months probation. She must also pay nearly $17,000 in legal costs to post. Do you have closure? No. Uh, I wish I did. Post earns $35,000 a year. Her legal fees to defend herself are far more than that. The total is about $54,000. That's what it's cost you to fight to clear your name. $54,000. Post started a GoFundMe, which has raised close to $21,000. She still owes over $30,000. She doubts she will be compensated by Hillier. The idea that someone has to pay 50 some thousand dollars out of pocket just to get the person to remove these defamatory tweets, it, it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely disgusting to me. It's not realistic for anybody. The ordeal has taken an emotional and financial toll, but Post says she would do it again. Right is right. I think you know. I, it's something I I just strongly believe in. I, that I couldn't let this stand. But it shouldn't have to be this difficult. It certainly shouldn't have to be this costly. It shouldn't have to drag on for 11 months. City News reached out to Chelsea Hillier for comment. She has not responded.